Hey everybody, Matt here. Um, this is going to be a long overdue video on the go bag. Now, um, first off, we're going to talk about what a go bag is and what a go bag isn't. Then we're going to go into different types of go bags and then we're going to go into what is actually you should be in a go bag. Um, so first off, what is a go bag? Well, a go bag is simply put, it's a bag that you use when you need to go in a home defense situation. Now, I guess you could use one in a self-defense situation outside of your home. Um, but I don't think it really applies to that so much. Um, it is more for home defense. Uh, it is basically just a, a bag of some sort, whatever works for you, that has all the tools you need to get yourself somewhere safe. Now, that could be getting you and your family barricaded in one room in your house. That could be getting you and your family out of the house into a neighbor's. Whatever your personal plan is for home defense, um, you want a bag that's going to carry all the tools you're going to need to be able to do that, okay, and, and, and get yourself and your family out safely. What a go bag is not. It is not a bug out bag. I can't tell you how many times I have seen people take a go bag, essentially, and it over time evolves into a damn bug out bag. Okay, this is not for a long term situation, okay? This is for something that may last, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes. You don't need protein bars and, and bottles of water and a machete in your go bag, okay? You don't want to be running up the street to go to your neighbor's house to call for help or whatever or get to somewhere safe with a machete sticking out of your backpack, okay? That's, it's, that's not what a go bag is, so let's remember that. Um, next up, let's talk about the types of bags you can use as a go bag. First of all, let's look at backpacks. Backpacks are a no-go. They are inherently bad for go bags for one simple reason. They are backpacks, okay? They're on your back. You cannot easily get to them without using one, at least one hand to, to get out of it and then pull it around in front of you and reach in and get something. Okay? In a, in a self-defense or home defense situation, you don't want that. Okay? You want to be able to run hands-free and be able to use one hand to get in and out of what you're carrying without having to take it off. Okay? Um, next up, what I, what I actually have a friend who does this, and I've seen people who do it online, um, using a load-bearing vest or a molly vest that carries all your gear on you. Anything you're going to need, you've got a pocket for it or a place for it or clip or whatever. Um, I think that's a good idea. I think the only downside to that is that it, it can be a little cumbersome to get on a vest, you know, like say in the middle of the night, you know, or whatever, uh, in the dark and you're using both hands and you can't hold your gun, but that, that's, that's just me. Um, still, I think it's a good idea. Um, Another option is a fanny pack. A fanny pack is a really, really good option. It just snaps on real quick, just big enough to carry everything you need and nothing you don't. Okay, Maxpedition and some other companies make some really good ones, but even a cheap fanny pack, you know, would work great. For, you know, any cheap one from Walmart. Um, I don't, I don't go that route just because I can never get myself to wear a fanny pack. But that's just me. Um, the last option I would say is the satchel, and that's what I go with. Now, essentially, let's be honest, this is a fucking man purse. Okay, it's a purse. Uh, that's what it is but it works well okay you sling this over your over your head onto one shoulder it goes across your body keeps the 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 bag on one side of your body the other you can wear it on your strong side you can wear it on your weak side whatever works for you i prefer my weak side um that's just me that way i can use my weak hand to reach in and out and get what i need while keeping my hand on my gun um now let's talk about what is in the bag now obviously first of all preferably a gun okay now not now this doesn't necessarily need to be in the bag okay um this is on my nightstand or i should say in the drawer of my nightstand okay that's where i want to keep this now this goes with the bag but this is not actually in the bag next up another thing on my nightstand but not necessarily in the bag is my phone okay it's right next to my gun so what's actually in the go bag well first of all if you're going to have extra mags okay got a couple there no one there. Um, next off, I keep a little Serpa holster in there for the Glock. That way I can just shoot a little paddle holster. I can snap it in, put it on my belt if I need to. Whatever I want to do there. Okay. Flashlight. Alright. That's a new one actually that I just got. Um, extra set of keys. These are spare keys to everything. To all the cars, vehicles, house, all that stuff. Anything I might need, these are spare keys. Leave it in the bag. Alright. And last but not least, just a little pocket knife. So you never know. You never know. It's always good to have a good knife on you. Um, it's just a little fixed blade. That's pretty much it. It's that simple. Now, some of you guys may say, oh, there's other things you need in here. That's fine. Whatever works for you, whatever's best for you, fits your situation, that's great. For me, this is what works. This is the bare minimum. This is what I need to protect myself. I've got plenty of ammo. I've got a light. I've got keys, holster, 
got a phone, got a knife, I got my gun, I'm ready to go. So that's pretty much it, man. That's my go bag. I'd uh, love to see some video responses. Anybody out there got some go bags of their own, uh, want to make a video on it and post it to this, that'd be great. Um, other than that, any questions, comments? I'll be looking forward to them. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys.